सदाशिवसरंभा शंकराचार्यमध्यस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा नैष्कर्म्य सिद्धि थर्ड चैप्टर नाइंटी नाइन पेज नंबर वर्स फोर्टीन इंट्रोडक्शन भेदहेत्वसंभव दर्शयन्ना सुरेश्वराचार्य the author of this text naishkarmya siddhi presenting the mahavakya vachyartha and lakshyartha lakshya lakshana sambandha the primary meaning of i is ahankara ತ್ವಂಪದ ವಾಚ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತ್ವಂಪದ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ಟೂ ಲೆವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಸ್ಪ ತ್ವಂಪದ ವಾಚ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ಈಸ್ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಲೋವರ್ ಐ ಬಾಡಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಐ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಸೆ ತ್ವಂಪದ ವಾಚ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಐ ಸೆ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ಇಮ್ಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಓನ್ಲಿ ತ್ವಂಪದ ತ್ವಂ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಯು ಇನ್ ದ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಆ ಹುಚ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಛಾಂದೋಗ್ಯ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಆ ಹುಚ್ ವೇದ ಸಾಮವೇದ ಸೊ ಸಾಮವೇದಿ ಯ ಛಾಂದೋಗ್ಯೋಪನಿಷತ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ತತ್ವಮಸಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಅನಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ಲೇಮ್ ಅಹಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ತತ್ಪದ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತ್ವಂಪದ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಅನಲೈಸ್ ತ್ವಂಪದ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಯು ತ್ವಂ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಯು ದಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಅಕ್ಕರಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಹುಚ್ ರಿವೀಲ್ಸ್ ದ ರಿಯಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ ತ್ವಂಪದ ವಾಚ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ತ್ವಂಪದ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಚೈತನ್ಯ between these two what is the relation means janya janaka sambandha we can say not real sambandha as though sambandha as though relation janya janaka sambandha means ahankara is a product born out of the blessings of me the sakshi chaitanyam i the ಆತ್ಮ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಹುಚಿ ತ್ವಂಪದ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ದಟ್ ಜನ್ಯಂ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ದೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸರ್ ಜನರೇಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಜನರೇಟರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ದೋ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸರ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ದೋ ಜನರೇಟ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಜನ್ಯ ಜನಕ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಮೀ ದಿ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಸೇ ಮೀ ದಿ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ಐ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ahankara is produced therefore there is a chidabhasa is formed how i blessed 
ವಿತ್ ಚಿದಾಭಾಸ ಐ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಡ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಅಂತ ಕಾರಣ ಬೈ ಮಿಯರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ಮಿಯರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಮೈ ಮಿಯರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಚಿದಾಭಾಸ ಇನಟ್ ಚಿದಾಭಾಸ ಜಡ ಸಾರಿ ಜಡ ಮನ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಸೆನ್ಶಿಯಂಟ್ ಬೈ ಚಿದಾಭಾಸ ಹುಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಾರೋಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೀ ದಿ ಚಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯೋ ನೋ ಸೊ ನೋ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಟ್ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಚೈತನ್ಯಂ ಆರ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಚೈತನ್ಯಂ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಚಿದಾಭಾಸ ದಟ್ ಹುಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಮೀ ದಿ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಚೈತನ್ಯಂ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಚಿದಾಭಾಸ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಸೊ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಚಿದಾಭಾಸ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಿದಾಭಾಸ ನೌ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಚಿದಾಭಾಸ ಈಸ್ ಅಹಂಕಾರ Sometimes we say Chidabhasa is Ahankara. Sometimes we say mind plus Chidabhasa is called Ahankara. Three ways based on the context we can call Ahankara means mind. We can say or Ahankara means Chidabhasa, reflected consciousness. Chidabhasa means what? Reflected consciousness. consciousness or i can say ahankara means uh, a mixture of chidabhasa and mind mixture in three ways you can present here suresh racharya taking mind as ahankara as mind ahankara mind is ahankara like that he is taking what is the advantage of taking uh, this uh, presentation taking the mind as ahankara mind is ahankara what is the advantage advantage is mind is object of my experience i experience my mind emotions therefore it is object of my experience since it is an object of my experience therefore ahankara also can be called as object of experience if i take ahankara as mind ahankara means ego i i am individual that ego i take as mind mind is my object of experience i know my happy mind i know my sad mind so object of experience whatever is an object of experience is different from me it is unreal it is mithya since mind is an object of experience ahankara also an object of experience only since ahankara is said to be mind mind is an object of experience therefore ahankara is also an object of experience that is presented here in a different language this mind has got selfhood and consciousness mind has got selfhood pratyakta and bodhrata consciousness and atma also has got bodhrata and pratyakta atma also has got consciousness and selfhood 
both are having then what is the difference what is the difference there is a, a difference which we saw in the last class mind is the substance and consciousness and selfhood of the mind comes under attributes mind is a substance and its attributes are selfhood and consciousness the selfhood of the mind the consciousness of the mind both are temporary they are temporary not permanent changing also in jagrata avastha and swapna avastha pratyakta of the mind selfhood of the mind consciousness of the mind is available for transactional purposes they are available but in shushupti deep sleep this mind since it is not functioning that selfhood and consciousness go into a potential form in sushupti that's why changing they are not available in deep sleep they are not destroyed the attributes are not destroyed what are the attributes of the mind consciousness and selfhood that's why in deep sleep you don't have any you know awareness that feel i am sleeping i am so and so place sleeping no that uh, consciousness is in a potential go it has gone into deep sleep <laughs> whereas atma is that in sleep also it is available atma has got selfhood and consciousness it is available in the sleep also therefore atma is not a substance atma is not a substance and selfhood of atma consciousness of atma are not the attributes of atma or sakshi atma also has got selfhood pratyakta and bodhrata but these two both of them are not the attributes of atma or sakshi chaitanyam since they are not attributes of sakshi chaitanyam the substance then what they are atma or sakshi chaitanyam is not a substance therefore consciousness and selfhood of atma cannot be an adjectives to the atma or sakshi then what sakshi is consciousness or atma is consciousness atma is selfhood selfhood is sakshi selfhood is consciousness consciousness is selfhood consciousness is sakshi no difference you cannot separate them sakshi and consciousness you cannot separate you cannot bring any division between them because all of them are one and the same sakshi is equal to selfhood or inner self inner self or selfhood is consciousness then consciousness is selfhood selfhood is sakshi sakshi is consciousness consciousness is selfhood selfhood is sakshi sakshi is consciousness all are similar non changing eternal permanent there is a difference between mind consciousness selfhood and atma consciousness selfhood mind consciousness selfhood is called ahankara it is borrowed from me the sakshi chaitanyam clear now i introduce a puro pakshi nayayika 
even though it is not here mentioned nayayika indirectly sujeshwara acharya condemning them hidden that is hidden what nayayika said consciousness is generated we say consciousness is eternal nityam but nayayika the logician talk illogically by name logic logician but he talks illogically here just like modern science consciousness is generated when atma manas samyoga ha in jagradavastha waking state and in swapnavastha dream state atma has got association with the mind atma has got association with the mind once that association is there in jagrata avastha and swapna avastha who is generated consciousness is generated according to nayayika we the advaitins we never accept that shureshwara acharya is a strong advaiti therefore he condemns that nayayika's opinion of consciousness is born out of the mixture of atma manas samyogena chaitanyam udeti jagrata avasthayam swapna avasthayam is that permanent consciousness which is generated no 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 nayayika says that consciousness which is generated because of atma manas samyoga in jagras and swapna it will go away in sleep it will go away in sleep because atma mind both of them are dissociated in sleep mind and atma both are dissociated because mind is not functioning in the sleep therefore atma cannot have association with the mind in sleep therefore i am not conscious of in the sleep who says nayayika remember not we advaita nayayika says consciousness go away disappear according to him it is destroyed <laughs> because it is generated it has got end also in deep sleep but what we say my dear nayayika if atma go um, atma doesn't have association with the mind and you are telling that consciousness goes away there is no consciousness in sleep you are telling hmm? then what if consciousness is not available in the sleep how do i know i slept well afterwards i wake up when i wake up i say i slept well i did not know anything if i am not a conscious being in the sleep how do i am conscious of this i slept well gaadha nidra i did not know anything in the sleep how can i say that without consciousness in the sleep since i am telling aham sukham aswapsam i slept well na kinchid avedisham i did not know anything in my sleep because i slept well gaadha nidra i am remembering recollecting after waking therefore there must be a consciousness principle in sleep also that is our stand point there is consciousness principle in sleep also because atma is there atma is all pervading where atma is consciousness consciousness is atma according to us consciousness can never be generated it is eternal it is birthless this is the difference between nayayika and we the advaitins so modern science also says there is a consciousness some 
phenomenon it happens in the brain they say he became unconscious <laughs> when he is unconscious consciousness is dead and gone because brain is dead brain is active consciousness is generated brain is dead consciousness is also dead according to scientists therefore now what he want to say veda hetutva asambhavam there is no bheda between atma or sakshi and selfhood consciousness consciousness and sakshi there is no bheda hetutva asambhavam there is no reason to show the difference between atma and consciousness reason is not there darshayan aha to show that now he is going to talk bheda hetu asambhavam the illogicality of darshayan means the illogicality of subject and attribute division between what and what between atma and consciousness or between sakshi and consciousness atma is equal to sakshi okay there is no subject attribute division in the case of sakshi chaitanyam sakshi can never be the substance conscious can never be the attribute <laughs> that is going to be established now i'll read the 14th verse the printing you have to little slight printing is not very clear please note and wherever it is not clear na kasya chid avasthayam bodha pratyaktvayor bhidham vyabhicharo thava drishtaham yathaham tadvido sadam very very important verses chida kasya chit avasthayam in any avastha kasya chit avastha means jagrat avastha swapna avastha and sushupti avastha jagrat avastha means waking state swapna avastha means dream state sushupti avastha means sleep state avastha means a state in any of these avasthas or states bodha pratyaktva yoho bhida na asti bodha means consciousness pratyaktva yoho means selfhood pair consciousness and selfhood pair bhida na asti selfhood and consciousness also cannot be counted separately from atma as to selfhood is consciousness consciousness is selfhood there is no division vyavicharah na asti vyavicharah means deviation one is substance another is attribute or two of them are different no in the pair there is no difference sakshinah bhida na drishtah athava na drishtah it is not our anubhava na drishtah means in our experience also so shruti yukti anubhava pramanam shruti pramanam yukti pramanam anubhava pramanam so drishtah na athava na drishtah bhida na drishtah bheda we have never 
seen. <coughs> we can never see the difference of substance attribute to division. So consciousness is a sakshi. Nadrishtaha. There we can put a full stop. So, kasyatit avasthaya, in any avastha, bodha pratyakta yoho, between self, hood and consciousness, vidha na bhavati, vibicharaha na asti, adhava, kasyatit avasthaya na drushtaha. There is no separation between them, there is no deviation between them. One is substance, one is attribute, division is not there. Atava drishta, na drishta. <coughs> we have never seen, we have never come across like that. We have never experienced. Full stop. Yatha. Now he gives an example. Unlike example. Yatha. Aham ta tad. Bhida sada. Aham ta means ahankara. Tat means sakshi. Aham ta tat means ahankara and sakshi always have difference. Sada bhida. You have to split properly. Aham ta tat. Bhedaha Sada Tad Bhedaha Sada Always That's why I said unlike example Bhido means is there Bhido means Bhid means Bhedaha Bhedaha Sada always There is a difference between Ahankara and Tat means Sakshi between Sakshi and Ahankara, there is a difference always. Like that, there is no difference between Sakshi and Consciousness. There is no difference between Sakshi and Consciousness, Sakshi and Selfhood, or Atma and Sakshi. All are synonyms. Sada, Vidaha, Aham, Tat, Aham ta tat dhida means just as the Ahankara and Sakshi Chaitanyam they have got always the difference they are all both Ahankara belongs to Vyavaharika Satyam tat Sakshi Sakshi belongs to Paramarthika Satyam Atma Chaitanyam Sakshi Chaitanyam belongs to Paramarthika Satyam therefore there is a difference separation Unlike Ahankara and Sakshi Chaitanyam have got difference all the time. Like that there is no difference between Bodhrata, Bodhaha, um, Bodhat Pratyakta Yoho, Consciousness and Selfhood. There is no difference in any avastha. Therefore, Atma is always with Consciousness. Consciousness is Atma. So, Atma is con with consciousness also, you should not say. Atma is consciousness. Consciousness is Atma. They, they, how can in one entity there is a difference? It is not possible. With this, uh, 14th shloka is over. Now, we will go to the 15th verse uh, introduction. Very, very subtle, technical, deep, involved topics, slokas, introduction. Yesma dagnano padana tanayaha eva buddhehe bodhaha na atmanaha tasma etat iti siddham. This is the introduction or anubandhoktihi between uh, for this 15th verse. 
what he says here yasmat <coughs> yasmat karanat why how you are telling so confidently confirm uh, uh, that means you are so confirmed confident in saying there is no difference between sakshi and consciousness you are telling how you are able to say if you ask i can give the reason yasmat this division is appearing because of agnana upadanaya so agnanam upadanam karanam yasyaha sa buddhi in the buddhi there is agnanam because of that agnanam only this type of uh, thought is coming to a person the ahankara is um, active in reporting all the uh, interactions existence of the world is because of ahankara activity and the duality experience all because of ahankara so therefore this is because of what is the upadanam karanam na agnyanam ignorance bahu vrihi samasa agnyanam upadanam karanam yasyaha sa buddhi that buddhi which is having the material cause which is material cause is called ignorance what ignorance self ignorance our ignorance is only self ignorance we are not talking about any other ignorance other ignorances are there or not we don't bother main problem is mula vidya self ignorance that is the cause upadanaya agnana upadanaya eva buddhi he bheda for the mind alone there is a division buddhi means here mind for the mind alone there is a division now he is consolidating shloka this is subject attribute division is not there in sakshi level we are consolidating subject attribute division is not there at sakshi level at mind level there there are divisions between sa- mind and uh, uh, consciousness as substance and attribute division is there but at sakshi level they are not there so for the mind alone there is a division in the form of selfhood and consciousness because of ignorance because of ignorance buddhehe bhedah na atmanah is not in atma is not of atma tasmat etat siddham therefore it is established this division at mind level self food and consciousness both are attributes of the mind and they want to apply to substance atma also has substance atma also has got attributes in a consciousness and self food these are all divisions are because of ignorance really speaking etat this type of this the following teaching etat siddham means the following teaching is arrived at the 15th shloka the number of the shloka given as 25 you have to change the number instead of 2 you put 1 that is 15 number not 25 because of the following teaching in 15th shloka following other shlokas we have arrived at arrived at what 
there is no division at all. We come to conclusion. At uh, this uh, secondary self, Atma is Brahman. Ahankara is the product of Mula Vidya. Hankara is the product of Mula Vidya in which Hankara there is subject object division, subject uh, substance attribute division. So, Hankara is called mind. If you take mind, there is a difference. Hankara and that consciousness division you can talk, but not in Kotastha. Subject, some substance attribute divisionlessness is there in Kutastham. Now we'll read, I read the shloka. Kutas, printing, I will take this one, another text. Kutastha bodha to dvaitam sakshatvam pratyagatmanaha kutastha bodha bodhridhi svatom hiyam vinashwari kutastha bodha tataha Panchamyadhe tasi bodhataha. Here the hetu we are showing. Panchamyadhe tasi means hetvarthe panchami. The division also um, in the absolute atma uh, of Atma doesn't have any substance status and consciousness as attribute status. Kutastha means here, uh, he says, Bodhataha means because of, because the absolute Kutastha means changeless consciousness. Because of the changeless absolute Consciousness is the meaning of Kutastha Bodhataha. This consciousness, Sakshatvam Pratyagatmanaha. Pratyagatmanaha means the inner self, the Sakshi Chaitanyam. Pratyagatmanaha means of that Chaitanyam, Sakshi Chaitanyam. That Sakshi Chaitanyam, we are seeing that is um, Pratyak means innermost, inner self, you can say. Inner selfhood, we have given the name selfhood. Selfhood is one non dual, non dual. Advaitam, Bodhataha, Advaitam is there. Advaitam, Sakshatvam means. Uh, it is non-dual and sakshatva means it is available as myself. Immediacy, we can say, the translation they have given. Immediacy means intimate. Intimately, I am available to myself intimately. Immediacy. That uh, uh, selfhood, innermost self, selfhood, pratyakatmanaha, Pratyagatmanaha, that is one and non-dual, Advaitam and non-dual. This selfhood is non-dual, it is Advaitam means non-dual, it is uh, one and the same, no difference between them. That Kutastha, changeless, absolute consciousness, that is called O.C original consciousness, my higher nature, or lakshyartha aham. Thvampada lakshyartha. You have to take thvampada lakshyartha. Why? Because bodhataha kutastha. Kutastha bodhataha. 
because of the nature as unchanging consciousness. Bodhata means consciousness. What type of consciousness? Not like uh, Nayaika consciousness. Uh, like Shenika Vijnanavadi consciousness. Shenika Vijnanavadi consciousness is bip bip consciousness, coming and going. All people maximum they commit mistakes. Consciousness is uh, uh, temporary. But we say consciousness is unchanging, it is ever the same, never change. What about mind? Dhihi, <laughs> but the mind has the power of uh, cognizing. Kotastha bodhaha buddhehe bodhri dhihi svataha hiyam vinashwari. Simple only the subject, but when we hear the words, we get uh, again, uh, diverted. Diversion comes. Meaning is the same. You know that meaning. Ahankara, the intellect, buddhi means the mind, which is known as ahankara. It is functioning, interacting with the world. It is my leela actually. Bodhi dhihi means uh, this uh, dhihi is a strilingam. That is why bodhi, because it is a feminine gender, that uh, uh, influence of that unchanging consciousness, blessed by me, the mind became sentient. That is why kotastha bodhat. Because of me, the um, changeless consciousness. Because of me, the changeless consciousness, bodhi dhihi. This mind is able to see the world. World is appearing in front of the mind because mind is blessed by me. Mind is blessed by me. Therefore, wherever selfhood, there is consciousness. Wherever selfhood, there is uh, um, sakshi. Wherever sakshi is, there is consciousness. This is kutastha. Kutastha bodhaha. Kutastha bodhaha. In Upadesha Sara, Ramana Maharshi says, Aham inasha bhajjaha mahantaya, aham ilina ke pyalaya sattaya. This as long as I bless the mind with chidavasa, mind becomes sentient and it sees the world, world is evident because of me, the consciousness, mind is able to experience the world. Therefore, in sleep also, we don't say mind is destroyed. We don't say uh, mind dissociation, just like Nayaika. We don't say Atma and mind are dissociated, that because of that consciousness went away. We don't say that. Mind uh, is falsified. It is not destroyed. In knowledge, mind is falsified. Falsification of the mind is our job. Amani bhavaha. Why? Because this mind alone is causing uh, worry, anxiety, tension. Therefore, once I falsify this ahankara, which ahankara I am taking as mind, mind is an object of experience. Whatever is an object of experience is not me. The worry in the mind is uh, not belong to me. Anxiety, stress, tension in the mind does not belong to me. I am the witnesser, observer of that mind which has got uh, oppression, depression, suppression. Hmm? Oppression, suppression, depression. Therefore, before old age is coming, uh, before uh, uh, intense disease going to pain cause anything in future, 
now itself learn to distance. If you don't learn to distance now itself, that mind, body, abhimana, later it is impossible. At the age of 90, you say it is so difficult. How can we distance? You cannot do distancing that time. <laughs> now, before that is going to come and shatter it, you, the old age problem at the age of 90, 94, 95, you see the people, how much, many people, very rarely people are healthy, hale and healthy after 80 years, up to 100 years, very rare. But most of the people will have either um, some ailments or old age, deterioration problems, all these are coming. You have, must have a powerful uh, distancing capacity of the anatma, body, mind, complex. Then it is very, very useful. So, Mithya Ahankara Association is um, an entertainment. It is an entertainment. I bless the mind, mind will become an ahankara, that means uh, sentient. That is why aham gives the chidabhasa, mind becomes ahankara. That ahankara, because of that ego, I, that lower I, sees the world, enjoys all objects, it is an entertainment, it is a leela. It is a leela. Ahankara has um, vasana based thought. Ahankara has got will based thoughts. Whatever based, all based thoughts are blessed by me only. It is an entertainment. We know them. Leela. What do you mean by Krishna Leela? Krishna Leela is nothing but this only. Krishna is Jnani, therefore all his actions are only a sport, Leela. Even you are a Jnani, if you become a Jnani <coughs> and you understand the Tvampada Lakshartha as I, the Brahman, you understand, for you also everything is a Leela. Body undergoing all six modifications, it is a Leela. And mind undergoes all emotions, a leela. Watch the mind, hrihi, bhihi, so many uh, emotions are there in the mind. You can see them, na atmanaha, they are not belong to the atma. The substance attribute are not there in atma. They are all only in ahankara. <coughs> they are only in ahankara. I am neither having worry. I am not worried about um, um, what? I am not worried about Jagrat Purusha, nor Swapna Purusha, nor uh, Sushupti Purusha. Jagrat, Swapna, Sushupti, even in Pralaya also. I am not worried about Pralaya, I am not worried about Jagrat Avastha, I am not worried about all Avasthas are appearing, coming and going in me, the Atma. So don't hook to waking state because Ahankara is false, mind is false and the thoughts, will based, vasana based thoughts, I see them as a serial. I am not serious about my biography. I am not serious about my serial. My serial is a fun for me. <clears throat> and you say, claim like that, dare to say, na. yes, I am dare to say. Na. Yes, a temporary solution is Nidra. <laughs> and Nidra, nicely I slept Swamini in the Ahankara problem, world, physical problem, mental problems are not there. That is a temporary solution. Again you wake up in the morning, again all will come back. Uh, once you wake up, 
all problems uh, ready in attendance one by one in queue suppose you are seeing all of them as uh, an object of experience as a witnesser as an observer if you see them and train yourself no one words <clears throat> no one words you have to train the future years of are going to come i can detach myself from all thoughts every thought is nothing but mithya so why i have to bother about that don't give much time to mithya will based or vasana based thoughts all of them happening in me the atma uh, is like a dream like another dream another dream like that capacity that mental power that uh, stamina and uh, strength the conviction comes only when shastric teaching is clear for me <coughs> that is why he says here now the see the differences kutastha bodhi dhi swatah hi iyam vinashwari swatah by itself it is a temporary vinashwari it is changing the mind is perishable perishable in sushupti avastha it is not functioning only in jagrat avastha blessed by me only that is functioning do we know that and do we remember that first we should know and we have to remember life long when i am listening to the class it is fine swamini but when the situation comes a problem comes very very difficult who said it is easy that's why repeated listening 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 until it entrench in my mind antakarnam complete intellectual level i must be convinced then only you can understand iyam vinashwari swataha dehi means mind swataha by itself originally by itself it is imperishable whereas i the atma sakshi chaitanyam is imperishable kutastha bodhaha kutastha bodhat bodhi dihi this uh, intellect is uh, intellect mind is mind because of me the kutastha chaitanya original consciousness reflected consciousness is my reflection it is not original body sentient because of mind mind is sentient because of me the kutastha chaitanya because of me the kutastha chaitanya mind is sentient it has got chida bhasa because of that body is functioning jada shariram jada manaha are sentient id gnapaka vechukonu you have to remember all the time never forget the more you remember lesser the are in lesser intensity of the physical pain or mental pain remembering more uh, all the time maximum time the intensity of the pain of the body level mind level all will become no feebler and feebler and feebler they will get reduced they will not touch you now what are the differences let us see um, there are eight differences atma and mind after knowing these differences we will go to the next shloka in the next class just i will give few differences what is the uh, corollary by these verses what we have got now atma is the primary self atma is the primary self mind is the secondary self lower i secondary self difference number 1 atma is atma means kutastha chaitanyam sakshi chaitanyam this atma the consciousness is primary self mind is the secondary self difference number 1 difference number 2 atma has got intrinsic consciousness 
mind has got borrowed consciousness is the difference number two atma has got intrinsic means its own nature just as fire has got heat as intrinsic nature water is not having intrinsic nature as heat heat is not the intrinsic nature of water it is borrowed from the fire like that atma has got intrinsic consciousness mind has got borrowed consciousness like water <laughs> then third difference is atma is the observer of the mind atma is the observer of the mind mind is the observer of the world atma is the observer of the mind sakshi the witness of the mind whose mind my own mind not others mind whereas mind is the observer of the world atma alone indirectly observing the world also through the mind mind is uh, the observer of the world then fifth difference atma is permanent mind is temporary atma is permanent observer of the mind atma is the permanent observer of the mind jagrata avasthayam sapna avasthayam susupti avasthayam observer of the mind whereas mind is the temporary observer of the world mind cannot observe the world all the time in susupti it is not observing the world therefore mind is the temporary observer of the world then sixth difference atma uh, is the observer without a will and an action atma is the observer of the mind without any will and an action whereas mind is the observer of the world with will and action with will and action then seventh difference atma observes the mind by just mere presence atma observe the mind by its mere sakshi sanidhya matrena by just mere its presence whereas mind cannot observe the world just as mere presence but it undergoes modifications it is not by its mere presence it is observing the world its presence is because of me the sakshi chaitanya mind is a mind that which can observe the world it is observer because of me the sakshi chaitanya therefore just by mere presence it cannot be the observer and the last and final one is atma is the karanam atma is the karanam um, are generator of the mind activities mind become the um, secondary self we are giving the secondary self status to the mind by borrowing consciousness from me the atma more in the next class Om Purnamad Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamevavasishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Gurubhyo Namaha Harihi Om